Good afternoon everyone. Today I wanted to talk about the herd of elk that appeared to be flash frozen as the mastodons were 30,000 years ago along Echo Lake in Colorado. There's so many conflicting stories, what the Park Service says, how the animals were found compared to what the locals say. As well, looking into the woolly mammoth, it appears there's plasma discharge on a planetary scale across Siberia. This means that plasma is descending from the ionosphere, cold plasma, having some of the same effects possibly as what happened 30 or 15,000 years ago. Quick look into the Sri Gir idol, the oldest idol carved from wood on our planet at 9,500 years in the exact same spot as the mammoths were frozen. The story is incredibly interesting. A local photographer, Misha, came along in the morning and took photos of these elk frozen on the side of the lake. And there are three different accounts of what happened. Two from the National Park Service, they can't even agree on what the story is of what happened. And also one different from the photographer herself. The first account from the Parks and Wildlife Service says that they were notified of 18 or so elk that have fallen through the ice and then drowned and then they had to pull them to the land. Yet another account says they were notified by the photographer and then they came out and pulled the elk to the land. Either way, there's no pictures of the elk themselves in the water. And then a third account says neighbors notify the park service that the elk had fallen through. Now you have all these people out there looking at almost two dozen elk floundering, freezing to death in the water, but not one photo comes out of it. And yet another account says the elk fell through on Sunday, but local residents didn't report the tragedy until Monday, and then wildlife officials spent the day hauling the carcasses to shore. Now this is the exact same time that it was 18 below zero, 20 below zero in that exact same spot. It's really difficult to imagine that over a 24-hour period that ice would not have formed and covered the entire lake. There's so many conflicting stories of what went on. Other accounts say the elk had frozen to death along the shore, not even in the water. I did a quick look through the social media here. Went into Google and looked for image search with a specific herd of elk frozen in it at Echo Lake, and I only came up with the same three or four photos. If this event really happened, there would be dozens of people with their cameras, with their phones, taking pictures. There's not even any pictures of the retrieval effort from the Park Service themselves. Now, this is a wide shot of what it looked like. And the claim by the Park Service is they spent the entire day using boats and crews of people to haul those elk to shore. They weigh a thousand pounds each. Now I ask you to look at the picture. Do you see any tracks from winching equipment? Boat entrance into the water. Does it look like there's any foot tracks around there? You're telling me that people worked all day long pulling these thousand pound animals out of the water but did not disturb the reeds that were in front. As well I would ask you to look at this photo if there were indeed 18 or 21 elk, see that Park Service can't even agree the number on the elk that died. Now you can simply count them one, two, three, four, but you already have two different numbers. These elk were trying to escape their death by freezing. Do you think that there would not be hoof marks and scuff marks along the periphery of the breakthrough in the ice? I see human foot tracks. Those are still there. But where are all the scuff marks of these animals clawing their way out of the ice literally? Not just one or two animals, 20 animals, and there's not any scuff marks around that snow and the periphery of the ice. That just does not make sense at all. And this is the way that elk behave normally. They don't walk in just a mass across the lake. One or two go out there to test it first, and the others follow in a single file line. And you're telling me not even one elk survived that? What about the ones that were close to shore, close enough to get in and actually scurry out? These are some of the hardiest winter creatures in North America. They get wet, they shake it off. They forage in the winter. They're used to snow, they're used to cold. They're used to getting wet, they're used to getting rained on. They're used to getting snowed on. These are hearty animals. The entire herd was frozen where they stand. Also, in the media report itself, this is from the Denver station. They came on, they showed the story, and you know what? They used a stock photo from a different rescue operation, not even the same operation. There's still no photos from any of the neighbors. you think people would have taken a photo of all these elk in the lake, but they didn't. 
where are the social media photos? There's not even one. It's the same three or four stock photos with that nice geoengineering trail going right through the middle with the serene photo in the morning. And it's interesting how blood's coming out of the nose, their tongues are hanging out. It's really reminiscent of what happened in Berskova when the mammoths were instantly frozen. Now you've heard the story before about the flash frozen mammoths, but you probably didn't know that it occurred in several different timelines. 36,000 years ago, 32,000, 11,500, you know, there's right in that range there. It's happened a couple of different times on a 15,000 year timeline or so. So I decided to take a deeper look into the mammoth finds that they've discovered throughout Siberia since, say, 1770 all the way up to 1902. And even currently today, they're still finding fresh mammoth remains. Now I put the coordinates on here. Let's remove the coordinates so you can see exactly what's under there. This resembles a plasma discharge electrical event on a planetary scale. This is exactly where the mammoths were found. This is what 5 million volts through acrylic looks like. The exact same pattern. And I thought, huh, would it be in a different place? So where do they discover other mammoths? Here we go. This is the next set of remains that were found. Let me remove the, the markers for you in case you want to look at where the Arctic Circle is and the exact coordinates for this. Mammoth remains found all around here. This ex looks exactly like a plasma discharge as well. This is 400,000 volts through a substrate. The exact same pattern. It's electricity. It's discharge. Plasma discharge on the planetary scale. And I thought that is incredibly strange. But when you get into the third exact instance where they find mammoths all flash frozen around what appear to be plasma discharges, it's more than coincidental. Here's what it looks like on Mars. You saw the previous photo here. Look at the scarring in that. See the exact craters around there mimicking what happened. Now truth is stranger than fiction. And here in the exact same area, the Sri Gir Idol. It's the oldest wood carving known to man. And notice right in there, there's Squatter Man again. And some information passed along to me by those very knowledgeable in the field concur that cold plasma events are very possible when the Earth's magnetic field goes into a decline state as it is now along with the solar minimum occurring that you will expect to see pressing down of the atmosphere in different areas causing giant massive hailstorms which we have seen again and again in the last month or so and mainstream scientists actually come out talking about magnetospheric plasma discharges ionospheric plasma discharges instead of pulling off the planet it's being pushed down is this the first instance cold plasma events are a very real possibility if it is indeed occurring the last thing any government on the planet would want is for you to know about this this would be a terrifying bit of information to know that cold can actually pull itself down from the ionosphere in a plasma formation and flash freeze objects, people, animals. And this is just the beginning of the cycle we're going into. I encourage you to do some of your own research about where we're heading in the next solar cycles. We're going to repeat something in the Maunder Minimum or deeper. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you got some incredible mind candy out of this one. Cold plasma, cold fusion definitely exists.